wasn't I wasn't quite where I wanted to be in terms of prep. Uh, I usually have a few little bits and pieces here. Okay. Okay. Just. Uh... One hundred and eighteen riders representing twenty teams assembled in Thessaloniki for the first of five days of racing. A double stage to begin the proceedings with a six kilometer prologue time trial in the morning. And Aaron Gates, the twenty twenty two winner of Tour of Hellas, among the first riders into action. The winner of the prologue twelve months ago, beginning the day as the favourite to emerge with the first blue jersey of overall race leadership. The Borgos BH rider from New Zealand eventually charging down to the finish line in front of the White Tower in Thessaloniki and breaking the all important seven minute barrier. A pace of well over 50 kilometers per hour for the riders at the Jakob Otruba, the Czech national time trial champion, going close to bettering the time of Aaron Gate, just four seconds in arrears for the Czech rider. But it was the last rider into action, the defending champion of the Tour of Hellas, Yuri Leotau, for the Cajaral squad who was the biggest threat to Aaron Gates, a victory on the first day of action. And uh, Yuri Leotau through to the halfway point with a stunning uh, speed and a stunning tempo and eventually charging down to the finish line to be the only rider to better Aaron Gates' time. Yuri Leotau would take the victory on stage 1A. You get the first bragging rights and the first blue jersey of race leadership by four seconds from Aaron Gate. With Jakob Otruba, third, Felix Ritzinger, fourth, and Bogdan Zabolinski, fifth on stage one. Yuri Leita with that 4.13 second margin of victory. Otruba, Ritzinger, Zabolinski, Rowan Baker, Kubis Jackson, Dernbauer, and the rest all just a matter of seconds from race leadership. So Yuri Leotau starting 2024 as he finished in 2023. Stage winner on the first day and already the Tour of Hellas is a success for the Cajaral squad. No time to sample the delights of the podium fair for Yuri Leotau as he and the other 117 riders assembled for the beginning of stage 1B, a relatively short uh, 100 and indeed uh, 92 kilometers of riding for the riders as they would make their way through central Macedonia. A stage that would take the riders from Thessaloniki to Katarini Beach. Paralia to be specific and the Jersey classification holders presented to the crowd at the front with uh, Aaron Gate looking after the points classification jersey on behalf of uh, Yuri Leotau. Gate looking pretty relaxed despite just being pipped to the glory in stage 1A. Relatively long concentration run of uh, almost 10 kilometers. Took the riders to the outskirts of the second city of Greece. Flag in and with such a short stage of just 92 kilometers, it was inevitable that we would be at brisk pace. Initially, a sustained push for the early break of the day with uh, numerous riders looking to get into the action, a group of six clear of the field. In the early moments, included six separate teams and was deemed to be something of a danger. Aaron Gate had the Borgos BH squad to monitor affairs on the front of the peloton on his behalf as he looked to score a stage victory in a third successive edition of the Tour of Hellas. Eventually, it would be a three-rider group that would uh, race clear of the field and contest the single intermediate sprint and the uh, single King of the Mountains climb of the day. At the intermediate sprint, Felix Ritzinger 
infiltrating the breakaway, having finished fourth in the time trial in the morning. Took the three bonus seconds on offer ahead of breakaway companions Christoph Janssen and Marcelo Felipe. And Ritzinger, 27-year-old, was amongst the strongest riders, putting uh, Felipe under a lot of pressure on the flat road. Maximum advantage for the riders, never quite managing to reach uh, three minutes as the peloton kept them on a relatively tight leash. And when the riders arrived down to the final 25 kilometers, they had a single King of the Mountains climb to think about. Yuri Leotau looking relatively relaxed in the main peloton, leaving it up to the Cajaral squad to do the chasing behind the breakaway, led over the single King of the Mountains climb by Marcelo Felipe, the Filipino rider, securing the points that will carry him into the lead of the King of the Mountains classification. Trip to the podium on offer at the end of the day, a successful visit to the break. And inside two minutes, the advantage with still 20 kilometers to go. The uh, peloton, with the assistance of riders from the Greek national squad, Karotek Vinny Fantini, were never far from the front all day. Cajaral squad also not found wanting. Team Nova Nordisk putting a rider into the chase, and that eventually would pare down the advantage of the three riders up front, with Felipe feeling the pinch. Having secured the mountains points, he was the first of the riders from the uh, breakaway to wilt, leaving it up to and the other two to see could they fend off the peloton. Down to the final five kilometers, though, it was Grupo Compato, the main peloton, as one once again, and gearing up for the anticipated mass sprint to the line. Chasing down to the finish line, and the... Nova Nordisk squad put multiple riders onto the front. Much jockeying for position. Korotek Vinny Fantini and the overall race leader, Yuri Leotau, handily placed inside the final 300 metres. Final dash to the line with Yuri Leotau leading it out inside the final 200 metres and then emerging from the Portuguese riders' slipstream, Jakob Moreczko of the Korotek Vinny Fantini squad charging to the line, avoiding the carnage behind as several riders caught out. And Jakob Moreczko taking his second victory in 10 days and his first in the Tour of Hellas. Moreczko getting the glory for the Karotek Vini Fantini squad, which had done much of the pacemaking and the chasing throughout the day. And Yuri Leitao in second place in Stage 1B. Great day for the Portuguese rider, extending his advantage in general classification. Blake Agnoleto getting up for third ahead of Avonce, Cataldo, Rudik, Goddard and the rest. But the bubbly went to the stage winner, Jakob Moreczko.